from downward facing dog. Inhale, raise up high onto your toes. Exhale, travel back to the front of your mat. Again, land as soft as you can. That's potential energy in your spine. Inhale, ground into the thighs. Maybe repeat, row long out from your core. Halfway lift. Let the shoulders drop away from your ears. Exhale, bow low. Let everything go. Again, grounding into the pads of your feet. Either reverse swan dive or roll up to high mountain. Exhale, let the shoulders drop away from your ears. Bring your hands to heart center. Let everything out. Again, inhale, reach up. Gaze up. Find length in your spine. Exhale, takes it to the right for your spinal twist. Inhale, kilo to the left. Again, let the shoulders drop away from your ears. Exhale, bring the left hand to meet the right, tuck your chin. Find that throat compression. Inhale, drop back to high mountain. Exhale, takes it back to the left for your spinal twist. Inhale, takes it back to the right as you kilo. Exhale, brings the right hand to meet the left, tuck the chin. Again, inhale, arcane tadasana. Cactus out the arms or reach them up. Lift the heart space. Keep that arcing in your spine. Exhale, hinge from your hips. Let yourself have a nice flat back. Keep that nice flat back. Lengthen out halfway lift. Again, with that line of energy in your spine, plant your hands on your mat. Hop, step, or float back to plank. You can come to your knees or you can opt out, but lower yourself down low plank. Inhale, take the back bend of choice. Exhale, flip your toes. Again, use your core muscles to draw your hips straight up and back. One more sun A. Again, travel back to the front of your mat. Inhale, lengthen out halfway. Exhale, bow low. Again, root and rise, reach up, fill up with air. Exhale, hands come to heart center, empty everything out. Again, reach up, grow tall. Exhale, takes it to the right for your spinal twist. Inhale, takes it to the left, helo. Exhale, left hand draws in to meet the right, tuck your chin. Inhale, back to high mountain. Exhale, takes it back to the left. Inhale, helo to the right. Exhale, right hand draws in to meet the left, tuck your chin. Inhale, arcing to das. Exhale, bow low. Halfway lift, fill up. Again, plank through a vinyasa or plank to down dog. The class will meet you there. Everyone take a nice big inhale through your nose. Open mouth. Sigh it out. Again, nice big inhale through your nose. Open mouth. Sigh it out. Now, coming back to your ujjayi, inhale, raise up high onto your toes. Exhale, again, you can travel by hop, stepping, or floating to a forward fold. Inhale, lengthen out halfway. Exhale, <coughs> bend the knees, drop the hips. Inhale, everyone's favorite, to utkatasana. Now, you don't have to sit super deep, but bend the knees, drop the hips, ground into the pads, so the heels of your feet, Again, fan all 10 toes. Now, shoulders are soft away from your ears. Try and take your gaze to your fingers. So I want you to imagine, or you can even take one of your blocks and place it between your hands, but that's your drishti. Again, remember the length happens from the back of the neck. So as you inhale, become taller in your torso. As you exhale, become shorter in your legs. So again, it's this moving tension in the spine. Again, inhale, find length, find space. Exhale, see if you can move a little bit deeper, but we're not forcing our body into these poses. So softly just moving, again, listening to the sensation. So if your body is contracting and pulling back, it's saying you've gone too far. See if you can just move to that edge, again, where your, your breath slightly drops off. Again, breathe in, breathe out. Now, if you know me and you have taken my class, You've probably heard me say before, the only way to grow is to become uncomfortable. And right now, boy, aren't we all uncomfortable. Again, this is a time of just leaning into it. And we're going to come out of this more resilient, 
more vibrant beings. Take one more nice big inhale, find more length. Now listen closely. As you exhale, you're gonna find chair plank. Now, in your chair plane, again, palms are flipping down, shoulder blades are squeezed together, lengthen out from your core. Again, peel all 10 toes up. Feel the chest plate drawing forward, but as you exhale, sink the hips just a tad bit further. Again, inhale, find length in your core. Exhale, see if you can drop those hips just a tad bit deeper. You got it. Breathe in. Breathe out. Take one more inhale, find more length. Exhale, sinks you a little bit further. Beautiful. As you inhale, ground into the pad of your right foot, raise your left foot up. Now, if you feel a little unstable, you can always take something and you can lean into it. So if you have a wall, um, you can come up against the wall. But see if you can squeeze your thighs together, really ground into the pad of your right big toe. Hands can come to your hips if you need them to be. Hands can come to heart center, or if you can reach the arms up to the sky. Again, drop the shoulders away from your ears. If you would like a little more intensity, I want you to really extend that left leg in front of you. Try and keep your hips nice and level. Now, if your leg is extended in front of you, we're gonna pulse it five, four, three, nice job. Try and keep this stable. Two, we're not dumping into the right side. One, beautiful. Now re-bend that knee. We're gonna slowly flex the foot and take it to a standing figure four. Now, this is a great place to stay in standing figure four, but I want you to, instead of dumping a bunch of weight onto that right leg, see if you can squeeze the thighs together to come back to that center line. Again, hands can come to your hips. Hands can come to heart center, especially if you want to go a little bit deeper by maybe taking the um, elbows down to that left knee and left part arch. But I want you to try and keep the chest lifted. Again, try and keep that nice flat back. If you'd like to, just keep the arms extended. For those that maybe have something to give you a little bit more length, don't be afraid to bring your hands whoop, down to your blocks. And then again, it's all about creating that moving tension. So we're drawing the chest plate forward and then shifting the hips back. Now hopefully this is giving you a nice little tug in that left glute, maybe that left IT bound. But try and keep your right or left foot flexed to keep that articulation, again, moving through the left ankle, then the left knee, then that left hip joint. Give me one more nice big inhale. Again, find more length. Exhale, see if you can drop those hips just a tad bit. Beautiful, inhale back to step. As you exhale, we're gonna hinge from your hips. I want you to step your left foot back as far as you can. Really plant your hands on your mat and then inhale, extend to three-legged dog. Now, in your three-legged dog, I want you to push, again, all 10 fingers towards the front edge of your mat, but see if you can extend out from that right hip as far as you can. So it's, again, we're like stamping on the wall behind us. Now, slowly bend your knee, open up, step your hip. Now in Scorpion Down Dog, it's really important to, again, ground into that right hand, really pull the left armpit up, and then see if you can pierce the ceiling with your right knee. Now I want you to really move with integrity as we transition to this next pose. Instead of allowing for yourself to move with momentum, draw your right oblique in, bring your right knee to your right tricep. Now again, you're not stuck where you land. See if you can allow for yourself to maybe even come to that left knee if you need to, but really drop up, really pull the pelvis up. At the same time, can you draw that left hamstring up and pull the chest plate forward? So again, we want that moving tension. We're not just dumping a bunch of weight onto our wrists. Take one more inhale, exhale, see if you can hike it just an inch higher. Beautiful. Inhale, re-extend. Awesome job, you guys. Exhale, softly step your right foot through. Back foot spins down. Woo! Warrior two. Now again, take a moment in warrior two. If you'd like, maybe roll out the wrists. Maybe wiggle out the fingers if you'd like to. Give me some horse slips. But I want you to, again, build the pose from the ground up. So really grounding into the pad of our right foot. As you push all five of your right toes towards the front edge of your mat, 
I want you to ground that knife edge of your left foot towards the back edge of your mat. So again, we're trying to rip our mat here. So as we create, again, this foundation in our muscles, okay, create an external rotation also. So we're allowing for ourselves to feel both thighs externally rotating. So that right knee is tracking towards your right pinky toe. Now from here, grow nice and buoyant in your upper body. So come become really tall in your torso. As you exhale, keep that buoyancy, but drop the shoulders away from your ears, drop your hips, drop your pelvis. Now again, try, try and keep your um, gaze over your right fingertip, and then just keep that chin up. And then starting to feel a little bit of heat building up in the body. Again, inhale, create length in your torso. Exhale, sinks you just a tad bit further. So again, keep that external rotation, but keep that isometrical, really grounding into your lower body. Again, breathe in. Breathe out. Beautiful job, you guys. As you inhale, cartwheel your hands to your mouth, pivot your back foot. Right foot is going to step back to meet your left. You can shift the hips up and back to down dog, or again, of course, coming to your knees or flowing from high push-up to low push-up back bend of choice, and then downward facing dog. Beautiful job, you guys. On an inhale, bring your big toes and your heels to touch. Raise up high onto your toes. Again, travel back to the front of your mat. Exhale. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, bend your knees, drop your hips. Inhale, woo! Chair pose. Like the great Baron Baptiste always says, <laughs> the pose begins, begins the moment you want to come out of it. So I want you guys to just lean into this with me. Again, let the shoulders drop away from the ears. We don't want to expend energy where it's not needed. Soften the face, soften the brow. Find something to focus on, and even if that's your breath, maybe even take this time to come back to that intention that you set for your practice. Again, fan out your toes, bend those knees, really ground into your heels, and then lean into that imaginary wall behind you. Now, if you feel a lot of pressure in the lower back, again, pull the belly button into the spine, exhale, sink a little bit deeper. Beautiful. Take one more nice big inhale. Exhale, chair plane. Beautiful. Again, squeeze those shoulder blades together, draw out from your core, exhale, sinks the hips a little bit further. Again, inhale, find length in the torso. Exhale, sinks you a little bit deeper. Take one more inhale. One more exhale. Beautiful. Grounding into your left foot, right leg raises this time. Again, take a moment, roll out the wrists if you'd like. You can bring your hands to your hips, hands to heart center. You can extend that leg if you want a little bit more intensity. If your leg is extended, pulse it. Five, four, Three, two, two, yeah, one. Again, bend the knee, take your figure four from here. Now again, flexing your foot, okay? Really lengthen out from your core, find that articulation in the left ankle, uh, sorry, right ankle, right knee, right hip, and then of course, taking those modifications from there. So drawing down to your elbows, drawing down to your blocks, Again, allowing for yourself to play with this, even if you have flying pigeon coming into your arm balance, but breathing in and breathing out. Take one more inhale. Exhale, sinks you a little bit deeper. Beautiful. Inhale, back to staff. Exhale, takes your low lunge. Inhale, suction cup your hands to your mat, left leg extends. Bend your knee, open up, stack your hip. Scorpion down low. Exhale, meet your tricep. Again, using intention here, moving nice and slow. Again, pull the pelvis up, push the floor away from you. Again, breathe into this. So we're not dumping into those rotator cuffs. Pull the hips up, pull the heart up into the chest. Breathe in, breathe out. Nice job, inhale, re-extend. Exhale, step it through. Back foot spin down. Warrior two on opposite side. So again, allowing for yourself to sit here, grounding into the knife edge of your feet. Try and rip your mat, pull the shoulders back and down, 
Let your shoulders drop away from your ears. Again, nice big inhale, find length in your torso. Exhale, sinks you a little bit deeper. We're running out of time on this video, so I'm going to stop it, hold this for a moment. We're moving back into 